Hello, welcome to StudioPixel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a fire torch in Blender. Now, I have already created this particular scene and I have used a little bit of comp uh, effect also to make the glow uh, the torch. Now, I will uh, show you how to uh, make this particular uh, kind of torch in a very easy way in Blender where uh, by using the quick fire and smoke. So, let's hope you enjoy this. Now, uh, First of all, what I'll do this, I'll delete all the uh, elements that I've already created and I'll just show you that uh, I'll just remove this layers and all. Just turn off the backdrop. Just turn this image off and cool. Now, this is a fire torch that I have modeled in Blender itself. Uh, it's a very uh, rough modeling and uh, we would like to create a fire out of it. So here what I'm going to use is, is uh, Blender's very easy to use uh, quick fire and uh, smoke effect. So you select the object and after that you go to object, quick effects, quick smoke and immediately you will get a, a quick smoke uh, box which is a smoke domain uh, here in uh, in Blender. There are two kind of objects. One is uh, the domain object. Another one is uh, the object from where the uh, the fire will actually go, uh, the fire will actually create. So that is uh, we called flow over here. So there are two type of objects. One is uh, the domain, and another one is the flow. So first of all, if we go to smoke domain. And we'll see uh, there are various uh, sort of uh, uh, attributes are out there. Now, I would recommend you to uh, concentrate on a, a very specific uh, attribute. Here, I'm going to use. I'm not going to change any of the default uh, uh, calculations. You can actually use the density and the temperature uh, uh, temperature differences and also with uh, vorticity to change the type of a uh, fire that you want but honestly speaking the object that you will create it will take the shape out of it and it will uh, emit this emit the fire so uh, you might not be required to change uh, too much of of these values in my case this is not at all required and there are plenty other ways of creating the fires and all I will show you the most uh, easiest way possible so if you uh, just playback. Uh, you'll see this. Only the smoke is coming out because uh, my object, the the domain, uh, the flow is has been set into smoke. I I can actually use the fire plus smoke, but uh, in this case, as the uh, the fire torch don't you know uh, emit too much amount of smoke, I will be not required fire plus smoke. But I can use the fire and. By default, the fire itself can actually emit a certain amount of smoke. So, if you play back, you can see that uh, your uh, sorry, your uh, fire is actually coming out in terms of the of, uh, viewport display. But if you could turn into the render, you will see the fire is not actually creating any sort of uh, uh, a fire. Uh, attributes any sort of fire attributes like colors and all so here we have to change a little bit a few parts so before uh, proceeding to the uh, shading part I would like you to change uh, the domain settings a little bit uh, here so first of all we'll uh, you know in change the domain move a little bit up the base of the domain so that we don't you know waste any sort of uh, domain area and we will turn on the adaptive domain on now why I'm saying this adaptive domain on is you can see that at the time when we'll the fire will start calculating the smoke or fire will start calculating it won't waste any any uh, memory that that you are con consuming uh, uh, while uh, uh, you know uh, calculating the uh, simulation so adaptive domain is a very interesting and very important feature in in, in blender so Turn on the adaptive domain and I would like to use the dissolve option also. Now you have to uh, 
playback i'll just turn it off to this uh, viewport display to not 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 rendering for right now you can see that uh, uh, you know dissolve time is something where your uh, where your smoke is actually going to you know uh, dissolve how fast uh, that is determined by this dissolve option so i would uh, increase a little bit of time and i will turn on the slow option by default it's on so you don't have to change it and it will actually very smoothly remove the extra smoke out of the out of your fire torch so that is also very interesting and after that i'll just play this now more or less these things are are okay i can change the other stuffs uh later on like turning on the high resolution and all that i can do uh, later on uh, but right now i think the base objects are uh, absolutely ready you have yes already so now you have to go to the uh, the domain option and now we have to concentrate on my shading calculation now by default you can see there's a principal volume shader has been already been uh, applied now here we have to you know change the calculation change the uh, attribute uh, values and we can achieve certain uh, uh, the colors and and all the details of it so right now what you can do is you can uh, change the black body intensity and immediately you can see that you have to you can actually you know uh, get your desired result uh, uh, to some extent now this is really interesting i mean uh, black body intensity is something which is really really uh, important you can increase to approximately five uh, but i would uh, recommend to you know uh, left it around three or four it depends on your scene and what kind of environment you are in uh, you you can increase it and later on uh, you can use the black body tint to you know uh, change the the tint a little bit out of air and now one more thing that is very interesting and important is is the density the amount of density is really interesting because that will uh, create a a a mix of the fire and the smoke out of it so you need to increase this particular amount and uh, uh, you know to get certain oops sorry uh, to, to certain uh, look out of it so you can see that the more I increase my intensity it's it's going to you know uh, affect the entire output of it so I think 100 is absolutely perfect so just replay it and you can see that this is a very mix of uh, smoke and fire which uh, actually coming out now <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Uh, now you can change the anisotropy option to make the fire, uh, fire and smoke a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, in in terms of the colors, a little denser. Or even you can increase the density more. It's up to you. I think 100 and sorry. 150 is pretty good yeah and here you can actually change your uh, smoke colors also so this is something really interesting if you if you want to fancy you know a fantasy sort of settings that things will uh, you know uh, you, you you can change from here now here you can see that the though I have changed all the almost all the uh, calculations the the fire quality is still very low now he, this is where your uh, uh, you know uh, this is where your uh, the higher resolution is actually comes to play now again if you have to replay it and now it will take some time uh, definitely to calculate the uh, fire but now you can see that there's more uh, you know in, in terms of uh, there are more calculations more uh, detailing uh, are actually coming out of of your fire which is absolutely fantastic now in the back black body tint i i can actually use another uh, layer of detailing by you know 
add a uh, ramp, color ramp. Uh, you can use it, but it's a very limited uh, use of it. I can uh, tell you. Uh, I can transfer this to as a black, white, and then this one to as black. And you can see that the, your immediately your uh, object is uh, started to get another level of detail. So now you can understand this. This this is uh, actually to again controlling your smoke and fire amount what you have actually you know uh, uh, controlling uh, one is density definitely and the other thing is the uh, the uh, the the ramp color ramp by color ramp you can you can control them again as i have already uh, uh, put the color of the color ramp into the black body tint my color is actually been lost a little bit so i can actually change the color from here itself and immediately you can see that it's uh, it's it's actually coming out of uh, out of a very nice output so you just have to replay it you can decrease the density out of it a little bit if you want i guess that's fine i think 100 is a very uh, uh, very uh, right amount of uh, value where in terms of the density cool so now basic uh, structure has been uh, created we can use any other physics uh, calculations over here but I guess that the torch fire if there is no oh, too much of uh, movement in the uh, wind you can have this one and uh, you can use this uh, Resolution division to 64. I found it really perfect in terms of uh, you know detailing and all, and as well as uh, render friendly because I remember this resolution division is actually uh, very tricky. If you increase too much, uh, you might lose your uh, uh, desired result as well as you might not be able to uh, render it in a in a very faster way. So I think here it's coming really nice. Cool. Yeah. So now what you have to do is uh, you can add a little bit of uh, post effect like uh, you know uh, a glow or something like that a simple amount. Now here is a very important uh, point which I'd like to discuss. Now if you hit render now, now you can see that there is nothing actually in the render coming out. This is very very important in terms of uh, while you are using any kind of smoke or, or, or uh, you know uh, uh, simulation sort of thing so first of all you have to uh, save your file which I have already done so there is no point of uh, resaving it and all now after that you have to uh, uh, you have to go down to cache and you have to bake this simulation so this is really very really important if you are not baking your simulation then it's not going to show up in the render. So every time you will hit render, nothing will nothing will come. That can frustrate a lot of time. So I have I have actually learned this very um, uh, hard way. So I have to hit bake and uh, give this a certain amount of time while while baking is happening. Cool. So now the baking has been done, and if your baking has been done, you can see two options. One is the delete bake option has been the bake option has been converted into delete bake, and I don't know whether you'll be able to see this. This is very thin, dark uh, uh, line will come up in the timeline, which indicates that your uh, uh, animation, the entire thing, has been already been baked down. Now what I can do is I can come to a certain uh, frame and hit render by f12 and you can see that your render will be coming so this is something really important people a lot of people actually forgot to hit uh, bake before they start rendering and they say oh why my uh, objects are not coming into the render my fire is not actually showing up in the renders and all so this is the reason that you your uh, fire or the smoke is actually not coming uh, in rendering so this is uh, something which you have to see. So now uh, let uh, let us 
render uh, let's finish this render right now cool as now my render is been done and now I can actually can go uh, to uh, you know to add some uh, post effect in in blender itself uh, obviously blender is the post effect is not that kind of uh, powerful but uh, you can use it anyway I mean it's up to you add a glare node and also we'll add a view viewer yeah viewer so what I can do is I can directly first call the use cool so my object is already just let me add some little bit of space now as you can see the glares are actually came up but I, I will not change uh, use the ghost or the uh, streaks I'll use fog glow I will increase it sorry decrease the threshold level a little bit so you can see the glow is actually coming and you can use the higher at the also the kind of mix that you want uh, yeah that's fine so now that the, 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 the glow is actually coming out yeah so if you have the environment you can see the glow effects also uh, on the environment because that that will uh, also use that but I would not uh, recommend you on on using from the blender uh, rather you can uh, use it in other softwares like nuke or natron uh, in, if you are into the uh, open source softwares so natron be really ideal it's, it's like similar like nuke uh, uh, or maybe after effect or, or anything else so yeah that's it so hope you enjoy this please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter for further tutorials thank you